Before we get into this video, I just want to remind you that I have started up a second channel. Fiction File works a lot like Fact File, only it covers the world of fiction sort of implied in the name. On Fiction Fall, we will be exploring the lore and history of video games and comic books. Have you ever wanted to learn about the Hulk in the DC Universe? Or what happens when Deadpool gets hold of a symbiote suit? Or what about the history of every specialist in the Black Ops Universe? Well then, head on over to Fiction File. It's in the description of this video, and you can find out all you wanted to know about the fictional worlds you love so much. With that said, on with today's Fact File video. For a long time now, super volcanoes have been considered a quiet but ever-present threat to our continuation as a species. We've all heard the stories that Yellowstone is due an eruption any time now, and when it does, the eruption will be so deadly that we'll probably all die, or something along those lines. But if you thought Yellowstone was the only geological superpower we should be paying attention to, then you're sorely mistaken. Because one of the most chaotic supervolcanoes around has just started acting up again recently. This is Campi Flegri, or the Phlegarian Fields, meaning burning fields in English, and is a huge area of much volcanic activity. There are more than 40 active craters, vents, and geysers in its mostly underwater caldera, and the area was so well known to be dangerous even thousands of years ago that part of it, the Solfatara Crater, is supposedly home to the Roman god of fire, Vulcan. That's how powerful these volcanoes are. But things get even scarier, because this bay near Naples also happens to be home to a few million people, making it one of the most densely populated regions in all of Europe, unlike Yellowstone, which is relatively isolated. If Yellowstone erupts, many people will be able to prepare and get to safe locations to ride out the ash and lava. But if Campi Flegli erupts, the destruction will be so vast and so sudden that those millions of peoples in Naples would only be among the first to die. The last time there was any kind of major geographic event at Campi Flegri was in 1538, when it erupted for eight days straight and threw up so much ash, rocks, and lava that it created an entirely new volcano, Monte Nuovo, which literally means new mountain in Italian, and stands a proud 440 feet tall. And yet this eruption is actually considered to be quite small, at least by the standards of supervolcanoes, and volcanoes actually frequently make new land. In fact, volcanic activity is how new land is created on Earth, by magma rising up from the Earth's core along certain tectonic plate boundaries and hardening to create islands, mountains, or, in the case of Campi Flegri in 1538, even more volcanoes. However, while 500 years is a long time to us, it's not a long time to a volcano, and especially not a supervolcano which can go tens of thousands or even hundreds of thousands of years without an eruption. If it had been a major eruption, we'd probably still be facing the effects of it today. And also, scientists wouldn't be worried about any impending volcanic activities. The entire Phlegrian Fields area has actually only had two major eruptions in its entire lifetime, and both were debilitating for the planet. The first one, 200,000 years ago, is widely considered to be the largest volcanic eruption in all of Europe, though obviously it's hard to measure exactly how bad it was considering people weren't exactly keeping records that long ago. Even scarier, 40,000 years ago, the second and most recent real eruption occurred, which has been linked by an admittedly highly contested scientific report to the extinction of the Neanderthals. We don't know for sure that this is what caused the Neanderthals to go extinct, or if they were damaged by other things like Homo sapiens taking all the good food and letting them die. But since we know that such an eruption did happen, it's likely that the Neanderthals were affected in some form or another, especially if there were any actually living around that area of what is now Italy. It's also erupted twice more, 35,000 years ago and 12,000 years ago, making it an incredibly unpredictable site. But this isn't new. 
Volcanoes are often unpredictable, and despite being monitored by volcanologists with technology getting more and more advanced, we're still often unsure about when eruptions may occur and exactly how bad they will be. In the 1970s and 80s, interest in Campi Flegri and its various craters was renewed by some strange geothermal activity in the area. This activity was something called Brady Seismic Phenomena, which is observed almost entirely just in Campi Flegri and isn't present in most other volcanic regions around the world. It refers to the rising and falling of the Earth's surface, which is caused by underground magma chambers filling and emptying, and is often seen to proceed an eruption as these chambers get full to bursting and then, eventually, do burst. These oscillations were experienced before the 1538 eruption, and after five centuries of being completely dormant, they began to happen again almost 50 years ago from the time of making this video. Brady Siasm became strong in the area and the ground was rising and falling between 4 and 6 inches every year. Then in 1982, after 13 years of volcanologists warning people that a super eruption could be impending, the ground rose by 1.1 meters, which happened so suddenly that the roads, houses and even the local hospital were destroyed. Scientists believe that Campi Flegri was on the brink of eruption and 30,000 people were evacuated in 1983 when the status of the volcano was upgraded to red, which is the most dangerous level on the warning scale with four colors, which are obviously green, yellow, orange, and red. However, quite obviously, there was no eruption. If there had been, we'd be right in the middle of an enormous global cooling event as the hot ash would have blocked out the sun for most of the world, thereby lowering the temperature of the planet. Since 1983, however, it's been quiet, and this silence is something scientists studying it are unable to come to an agreement on. While some are of the opinion that the silence means the volcano has returned to its dormant state, it's also recently emerged that volcanologists have discovered the hot zone feeding magma into the volcano, which has been likened to a boiling pot of soup just underneath the ground, stressing that the volcano is certainly becoming more dangerous. They also speculate that pressure has been building beneath Campi Flegri for nearing on 70 years, and that this stress was sending it closer and closer to an eruption. This hot zone is directly underneath the city of Pozzoli, and further out to sea, about 4 kilometers underground. Scientists think that the stress which built up in the 1980s has moved towards a shallower region, rather than being blocked, and warn that the volcano could well be reactivating. It's not hard to understand why researchers are so focused on trying to find out if the Phlegarian fields are going to erupt. However, one only needs to look at other supervolcanoes we know of, such as the aforementioned Yellowstone. Like in Italy, people have been warning us for years that a Yellowstone eruption could also be imminent, though it's much less active than Campi Flegri. Scarily, Yellowstone has three calderas, a caldera being a large depression created by a previous traumatic eruption. These three sometimes overlap, but total they measure about 30 by 45 miles, which really puts Italy's 7 mile diameter into perspective. And past Yellowstone eruptions have also caused global volcanic winter events, the most recent being the Lava Creek eruption 630,000 years ago. But Campi Flegri isn't even the only supervolcano in Italy. Out in the Alps, the remains of an extinct supervolcano in Cesar Valley have been found, which erupted 280 million years ago and spewed out a thousand times more volcanic material than Mount St. Helens did when it erupted in 1980, which remains the most disastrous eruption in US history, spreading ash into 11 different states and killing 57 people. The amount of energy released by Sizer Valley was equivalent to 26 megatons, which is 1,444 times more powerful than Little Boy. The bomb dropped on Hiroshima, and the first nuclear weapon used in warfare. So just imagine that you've had about 1,500 nuclear bombs go off at once, and that's how powerful the Sizer Valley supervolcano eruption was. Luckily, that one's extinct. And yet scientists stress that while pressure is building underneath Phlegarian fields, it may not erupt anytime soon. Considering the enormous periods of time in between volcano eruptions, soon could be tomorrow, or it could be a thousand years from now. It's currently impossible to tell, though it's more likely than not that it, much like Yellowstone, isn't going to erupt in our lifetime at least. So it's something to warn your future children about, and then probably forget it's even happening at all.